Hello there, folks. Hope you're all doing well here in Bartholdi Park. Nice, beautiful fountain there. And I just wanted to do an update on the nice sables here in this park. Really great plantings. They got like a rain garden section. They've got the zero escape desert garden with all the cacti and succulents. Great mixture of plantings here. And uh, yeah, really nice sable miner here down in this little uh, divot here, this little ditch uh, area. And uh, yeah, it like, must like flood here a little bit when it rains heavy. And there's a drain over there, but it must love all the moisture down here. Really awesome. You can see a nice little tap root on this. It's probably planted relatively recently. Although it's definitely here through last winter. Um, yeah, really nice sable, sable uh, miner there, Dwarf Palmetto. Nice little one, but I'll show you guys a much bigger sable. This is second. This here, uh, and by the way, the, the um, blooms on this, oh God, it's absolutely incredible. The bloom on that is just as good as the Southern Magnolia. Uh, it smells absolutely unbelievable. This is our native Sweet Bay Magnolia, which is a uh, semi-evergreen species, although you can see there, Magnolia virginiana, Sweet Bay Magnolia. Um, although it is, uh, uh, it, it is, it, it's native here and it's like a, uh, semi evergreen species, although mostly, uh, mostly evergreen, including entirely evergreen for some specimens here. And this one is, uh, yeah, this is a pawpaw here. Look how awesome this is. There you see a, a similar triloba pawpaw native to, uh, Ontario and Eastern and Central U.S. And, uh, awesome species, really beautiful. It is deciduous, but it's very tropical looking. And, uh, it is the only, its genus is the only genus in its family, not from the tropics. So it is not only tropical looking, but tropical related too, which is awesome. Very, very cool species. And they grow everywhere in the woods here, which is so cool. This looks like another one here. Yeah, there's Papa. Look, this is a nice big one. Really nice, beautiful, beautiful leaves. And it's got these massive tropical like fruit. But over here is the, uh, the uh, massive, massive sable here. I used to say this was a sable miner, but I mean, it, it, it probably is a sable miner, but I think the sable Louisiana is a more, uh, is a variety. And uh, really, really cool. You can see there. Uh, it says sable miner here actually. Uh, which is interesting. I don't know if the taggies should be there, um, but uh, I'm, I'm sure pretty sure it's a sable Louisiana. I mean, just look at the size of this thing. Beast of a palm. Look at this, this, this fronds, absolutely unreal. I think this is all one specimen. It's hard to even tell, but uh, it is massive, massive palm. Crazy, that fronds like, huh, it's spears like kind of twisted and burnt there. I don't know what that is, but it looks fantastic and uh, just beautiful. You can see all those seedlings in there. Crazy, crazy. They've removed a lot of them, unfortunately, but they still have quite a few and then they got this little one here. Sable Miner. See, they have a tag for this, but it looks like it almost could be naturalized from, uh, from these. There are some big seedlings coming up from this one. Absolutely massive palm. Unbelievable. Just how beautiful it is. Really, really cool. Beautiful sable. Hard to even capture it in here. It's so big. You can see all these flower stalks coming up. These will be massive. Probably like 15 feet or something. The flower stalks are huge on this. You can see the uh, seedlings that come up everywhere. There. There's one. And uh, lots more back here. So, uh, yeah, this is very interesting over here. The um, this one here, I always thought it was a naturalized sable miner, and it very well may be from that palm because it's like tucked in a corner here. And they didn't used to have this, but they just put a tag in for it. So maybe they maybe it is naturalized, and they just identified it as sable miner. But I find it very interesting because it's like tucked right in the corner here, and yet it still says sable miner. It's got a tag and everything. So that's very interesting. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, over here we got, they, they ripped all the seedlings out here. I guess they remulched it, which kind of is unfortunate, but uh, there's still like one or two stragglers in there. And you can see the ones right up against the uh, foundation here. You see just a few of them, they get cut back, but right in there. So that's the uh, Sable Miner here in Bartholdi Park. Yeah, the Sables, I should say. Uh, I guess they're both Sable Miner, but one of them clearly appears to be the uh, nice beefy Sable Louisiana, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, really, really cool. I just want to share that with you folks. Like, subscribe for more videos. Stay tuned and take care. Try a stable miner in these colder climates. They do awesome here. Really, really well. Beautiful palm.